follow that gentleman up there. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Waskowitz is located in North Bend, owned and operated by the Highline School District. We have 200 beds, 372 acres, 25 miles of hiking trails. Our program takes different schools throughout the Puget Sound region and we blend them for a living learning experience where they are not only learning how to be better citizens of the earth, but also better citizens within their community and how to build a better world. We have not had the manpower nor the resources to be able to do a lot of the minor and major maintenance that we need to be able to provide a warm, welcoming place for our students to come. We have uh, four pillars in NAOP. One is um, networking, one is education, one is influence, which is kind of making sure that the political climate is good for the development of real estate. Um, and the, the last one is community. And so this is one of our community events where we kind of give back to the community and use our unique skills as an industry to help fix up the physical plant of, of a place in our community that's valued. Here's a couple of these. Off we go. We have 18 projects uh, that are dispersed all over the campus. We have anywhere from removing and, and rebuilding a deck to standing four cabins. Uh, there's some gravel work that you see right behind me. Replacing some invasive species with uh, more native plants. Our project is to paint all of the buildings that are not consistent with the color scheme for the site. Probably up to 50 or 60 volunteers for the day, so I think we've got just about one from every company in, in the Northwest coming to the crew today. I actually went to Camp Moskowitz when I was in fifth grade, and I'm not sure, but I may be painting the actual cabin that I stayed in. My daughter attended the camp this summer, and so when she found out that this was an opportunity, she's down there and we're making it better for next year when they're back out. I actually was here in sixth grade, and I was kind of a walk down memory lane to come here today. I remember the dining hall and my cabin, and so when I heard the opportunity, it was like, yeah, I might as well go back and get back to something that's provided so many memories for me. This is a new greenhouse for the camp, and as all the participants at the camp leave, they take a seedling with them, and they're gonna use this greenhouse to grow seedlings so they have a good supply to pass out at the end of camp. After a week at work, it's really nice to just chop wood and stack it. It's really straightforward and you feel like you've accomplished something at the end. It's a lot of fun just working with the people you work with. It's a good team building event. I've been able to come out here and help out, um, give back to the community and community enhancement is it's a lot of fun for me. It's an amazing day how much people come together and how many members come out and assist us with these projects each year. Why are you out here? Because you know? uh, my dad works at Sparling. We have one of the finest organizations, I think, in the industry, and uh, all these people, you can see they're leaders and hard workers. We're action-oriented. We get stuff done, and that's what gives us gratification. I feel as if I've won the lottery, and not just the regular lottery, the Powerball lottery. so appreciative for all the students that are coming, have been, and have come back to see what's done. This says that our facility will be here for the next 75, 100 years so their children, their grandchildren can come and have the same wonderful experience that they had when they were here at Waskowitz.